Well, a couple of years ago on the channel, I took a look at this game, and it was in pre-alpha, and now it's finally released in early access. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Voxel Tycoon Early Access, a game that is, well, out on April 15th. It's already out, actually, so welcome aboard. Good to see you all here, and welcome again for a management strategy simulation and early access game. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. Welcome, and it's good to have you here. This game, uh, I took a look at it a while ago, and like I mentioned, it's uh, you know it's a good game, and I said it during that time, and also uh, it reminds me of Factorio and Satisfactory and Transport Fever and also a little bit of Minecraft. It's like a Minecraft transportation game. If you look at it first glance, you think it looks a little bit like that, and it's delightful. You can build all sorts of factories. You can build rail lines. And uh, if you love yourself open TTD, then this game is also for you as well. So, again, let's put those games up on the docket. Transport Fever, Factorio, Satisfactory, and of course a little bit of Transport Fever slash Minecraft. These are all good things. This is a good mix, man. It's like a good meal. It's like a KFC Famous Bowl, but it's actually good. <laughs> Got him. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into this one. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome. Good to see you here, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm excited to give this game a try in our limited time here at our first look of the Early Access version. Again, long ago, we took a look at the pre-alpha. Now it's entered Early Access, and we'll see how it is. Thanks again for subscribing to the channel. We're almost at 1 million subscribers. About uh, 60 to 75% of people don't subscribe, yet they watch these videos all the time. So make sure you do so you're notified about any upcoming games. And of course, giveaways on the Discord. If we get additional uh, keys for this game, we will be dropping those on the Discord. So make sure you sub and hop on the Discord and come say hi. Thanks for smashing like to bop this one into the algorithm. And of course, thanks as always for becoming members and showing your support. We'll start ourselves a new game here today. Unfortunately, no multiplayer, it seems, in this game. I'd love to see that. But there is options for mods and the ability to import your own assets so things like landmarks or custom-made buildings or bridges or factories can be imported into the game we'll go ahead and start ourselves our first new game here and we'll go ahead and pick our company we'll go ahead and call this like raptoria transport co or so well, let's try that oh yeah perfect it fits wonderfully raptoria transport company is ready to go we'll use uh, dollars uh let's see american names i guess is fine or wait what else is there japanese ukrainian oh let's just stick with american i guess for me uh, well, I guess we'll keep the tutorial on and we can do our seed as well. So that'll be 8, 6, 7, 5, 3, oh, 9. Yes. All right, let's see. Difficulty. I guess we'll leave it all at normal. But look at all those options. There's certainly a lot of stuff to do or options. That's really cool. Uh, world options, region size, mountains, lakes, and plants. And then, of course, we can turn on mods, which we don't have any because, well, I didn't even know there was actually any in here. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and start and begin our first city build in Voxel Tycoon. I guess part city builder because you're delivering the parts and materials and food and such that it takes to build a city and many cities indeed. So the, again, this is like Open Transport uh, Tycoon Deluxe, otherwise known as Open TTD, but also feels a little bit like Transport Fever with the amount of variety here and also a little bit of Minecraft with the art style. I can't, I, I love it. I can't stop comparing them and I just, I absolutely love that. I think that's fantastic. All right, and here we are in beautiful San Angelo. This is a good place to do business. Look around for resource deposits to start mining from, buy vehicles, and supply city demands. Wow, look at this. We can really zoom in crazily. And I see the potential for massive, massive train stations and also uh, large junctions and rail yards. That is going to be cool. The amount of zoom that we have is incredible. That's really nice. We can really get in there and see the detail of the city and also all the vehicles and stuff that'll drive down the roads but also a very clean art style and i like that a lot when you're ready make more complex products research new technologies and expand ratoria transport co to other territories good luck all right let's do it all right tutorial will go through the basics real quick okay i know a lot of the basics so we might skim through a lot of this of course it'll be things like uh, probably how to build a vehicle and spawn that that's pretty same between all the games that i mentioned previously like open ttd and transport fever all right how to control the camera yeah of course wasd q and e control key got it no problem build a mine all right let's go ahead and select industry we'll go to mining and then we need to build a coal mine. Oh boy, we'll have to find some coal. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Can we rotate? Oh yes, indeed we can. All right, let's build our little uh, coal refinery right about here. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, and I think actually we can mine anything within the blue area. Well, let's build our, I'm assuming a road over here. Very nice. 
All right, build a station near the mine, of course. We'll need to build a station. That's under road depots, stations. Ah, there we go. That's what we're looking for, a freight station. But again, we can also do passengers in this game too, so we can do buses and passenger trains and also all sorts of mixed cargo too. So that's kind of cool. All right. Well, this is feeling like a natural habitat already. I'm getting the hang of this within seconds. Okay, there we go. Let's place down that little depot there. Okay, all done. Now place the station near the consumer or the customer, which should be... That's iron ore. We want something for coal. Oh, here we go. A little factory down here. All right, let's go ahead and plop that down. Actually, we could put it right here. Yeah. Actually, let's do it like this. Nice. We can squeeze it in right there on the corner of the intersection. Or we can just do it right here. It'll be just the same. There we go. All right. And then we should be able to loop a road around the backside. And that way, all the goods can get delivered by uh, proxy, I suppose. There we go. That should work. And yes, it accepts coal right there. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Connect a station with a road. Oh, we did. Oh, we just did that. Oh, no, no. We built the two stations, but we have to connect them via a long highway. Well, we can connect these two cities together to get started. Let's try that. Excellent. So Cumberland West is where we are now. Ooh, <laughs> all these weird highways and stuff. Ah, that's all right. We'll take our time to lay it out on our next construction project. Okay, and then we'll build it here. Excellent. And then they can zip right through there. Perfect. Build a garage. Okay, let's build a garage. This will allow us to spawn vehicles and possibly repair them if needed. This game may have maintenance. Maybe. We'll see. Buy your first truck. All right, we better do that. So it looks like the AAA truck is a flatbed, and it looks like it transports coal and iron ore. So we'll go ahead and buy one of those, and we'll get it started. Looks like we can auto set a route, maybe. Oh, auto coal. Per oh, we can actually do that. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, let's buy like uh, three more. Let's buy like a. Eh, let's buy a total of five. That'll be a fine one. There we go. All right, then we should be able to set them all to uh, coal, I think. Is there a way to do that after you set it? Uh, individual route. Details. Oh, that one's set to auto. Ah, oh, yes, perfect. Okay, cool. We should be able to turn these cars on now. Oh, yes, release all. There's a button there. Ah, perfect. Excellent. So we can release them all from their depot. Uh-oh. <laughs> Getting a little stuck there from me clicking like that, but that's okay. All right, perfect. Now, we can do this with trains, too. So the trains will be set up to go back and forth. And we can also have all sorts of... Um, stations as well like la large hubs where if we had uh, like let's say for example this was a huge train station and all around us in the wintry area down here and then the desert area down there there was coal mines all around us we could have the coal all shipped to the central location and then have the train line bring it all the way up there we could bring it via train or by truck to the big station that'd be kind of cool set up a schedule okay we kind of oh we kind of already do oh boy yeah complete already <laughs> Okay, well, I made it seem a little easier than it was. There's lots of little details and things that were flying by, but again, I want to see a little bit more about this game than just the basic tutorial. So the trucks will head first to the factory down here and then head back and pick up stuff. So it looks like they're demanding 130 coal, so that's cool. So we'll get that uh, delivered then right away. We've got wood here, so uh, let's see, who wants lumber? Right up there, Tulsa wants that. So we can go ahead and do the same as what we did before. Except we'll build like a little uh, station here. Although, do we have to build a extraction building in there too? It's not necessarily a mining facility. It's a sawmill. Okay, so mining can also take sawmills. Cool. So it's kind of the same thing, I guess. All right, we'll put a sawmill there. And we can put warehouses for storage. That's cool. Oh, we have research facilities we can build as well. So that'll help us to unlock additional technology. And from what I remember before, there was quite a nice uh, tech tree as well. We'll have to build a lab to see what that looks like. Let's build one now. And we should also build our factory, too. I mean, our, not factory, but our uh, headquarters. Yeah, so that way we can uh, build, like, a large complex. That'll be kind of cool. All right, let's build a little research lab there. And let's take a look at the research. 
Ah, yes, tons of research to be unlocked. Manufacturing. Now we can also do things with conveyor belts. So that's where things from Satisfactory or Factorio or any other factory management game comes into mind. That's really cool. All right, what about road upgrades? Oh, yeah, we can upgrade roads as well to be better and faster and more reliable. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we'll start research on manufacturing to get us started. And what about a headquarters? Oh, there's factories here where we can construct or buy factories from the menu. Terraforming, other. I want to try to build at HQ if we can, but for now, let's go ahead and uh, go for the next thing, which is the depot that we'll need. So we'll build that under here, uh, which is under, actually the transport tab. I'd like to do some trains, but we're just starting out small and this will be a lot more affordable just to do it via truck. That's cool. Well, let's put a little truck depot here. Now maybe we'll connect it like this. Perfect. All right, and then we just need a depot to connect to that other town. Actually, it can just go all the way up to Tulsa. However, this factory might not be within range of it. They only accept coal so far. So let's do a station for freight over there. Yep, you can see the blue area in which it'll cover. We'd have to, like, demolish that road in order to get it to fit, but we can do another station here. There we go. So Tulsa North will be accepting uh, lumber, full logs. All right, let's buy some trucks back at our old garage. Oh, it looks like these trucks need to be released, too. There we go. All right, let's take a little more care this time to do this. So these should be our logging trucks, and indeed they are. We'll go ahead and buy that one. And we should be able to then duplicate that. So if we do this, let's go ahead and see if we can release car number six. Then we should be able to click this tab and then duplicate it on the way out of the, ve out of the, uh, the shop there. So now we should have five on the road as soon as we release all. Excellent. Okay, very nice. Lots of helpful overviews and stuff. And again, a very beautiful looking game too. Now obviously technology will unlock over time, so we'll get bigger and better and faster trucks and roads, and maybe eventually airplanes, though I think most of this game is done on the ground, and it is a beautiful, beautiful game indeed. Now we'll have to unlock some of these other regions too, so that means that we have to, I think, purchase them with money, uh, or with resources. Yeah, so there's certain things we'll have to do, like earn a million dollars in order to essentially unlock the contract, which is cool. You have to work in a small area before you expand a little bit, make sure everything's perfect in the area that you've chosen and wherever you've spawned. Right here, our coal mine is a little too far away for our, um, a little too far away for the trucks, but if we bought a train, the operating cost would be astronomical, and we're down to just 66,000, so... We definitely need to start delivering that coal ASAP. Let's see if the coal is starting to come in. Some of the flatbeds still arriving. And some of them should be going back. Or they have gone back. Let's see. Schedule. Add a stop. Ah, it doesn't seem to be auto doing it. Let's go ahead and add a stop here. Load. And on load. There we go. Okay. So now that's what we want to do right there. Now, can we copy this route somehow? Let's see. Is there a way to duplicate route? Follow vehicle. Take a, ri take a ride. Oh, cool. We can go into first person. Oh, that's wonderful. So we can do that with the trains, too. Oh, man. It'd be cool if the car had its lights on and everything. That's really cool that we can actually, if we build a beautiful city, which I guess this is kind of a city builder, too, because we are delivering all the goods that a city needs in order to grow and eventually uh, construct a larger city. There it goes. That thing full full of coal now? Yes, indeed it is. Okay. So we need to copy this route to a few other trucks. <laughs> they have a horn button. That's awesome. Very cool. All right, we just need to lay things out a little more correctly. Maybe the auto thing isn't the best to use at the moment. Uh, add first stop to start setting up the route. Individual route. Okay, I thought I set it to auto to where it would just automatically know where to transfer things but we can do it all by hand so let's go ahead and pick up from there and drop off from here for logs and there we go so we'll just have to do this manually for each of the trucks all right so we should be able to give them commands on where to go and where to pick up stuff 
Hmm. So we can go ahead and tell them to offload here. We can do it in reverse order too if we want to. So we can tell them to onload there and pick up from here. Yeah, we have to tell them to go to the actual stop and not the factory itself. Or in this case, the... Um, oh yeah, there they go. Logs are starting to be transported. Excellent! Well, we might dip into the negative funds a little bit, but that's okay. As we had quite a long roadway to build. And uh, quite a long way to go, too. Now this is the... <laughs> the truck's looking for trouble. I like that. Uh, this is car number two, so it's going to be a coal truck. Let's go ahead and pick up from here. And we'll go ahead and offload at the uh, storage up here. So I guess these people are ordering logs and coal to heat their homes more than likely. Let's go ahead and order those. Perfect. $53,000 in the bank. Lots of things to unlock here and much more complexity than what we'd be able to see even in a few episodes with the amount of train stations and transfer and whatnot that you can build. Certainly a sight to behold. All right, we'll keep doing these one by one. So let's go ahead and add a stop. So again, go ahead and load up with coal. And then I would like you to drop off over here. There must be a way to do this a little faster than what I found so far. It's got to be. Okay, let's find ourselves another truck to mess around with. Okay, that one's set correctly. This truck here, go ahead and load. Now you should be able to plan this out before you send them on these little uh, journeys, and then you should be able to copy the other vehicles to those too, so that way everyone can be on the same page. All right, let's make sure this truck works. All right, so six logs can be loaded. Oh, even though it says five out of five, that's definitely six logs, but okay. Fair enough. Add another stop. Go ahead and load with logs. And deliver those up here, please. There we go. And another one. Load and unload. There we go. All right, hopefully that sorts everybody out. Cumberland transfer to Tulsa North. Okay, that truck doesn't have to go all the way down here, but I suppose it will. Very cool. I like it. Very simple start, but again, we gotta find more opportunities, so we need to start scanning for other areas of coal which would be clearly marked by the uh, green areas. So we only have that coal there. We should find iron ore. There it is, iron ore over there. Now we're probably not gonna have enough money to uh, switch that back over to here. Each of these trucks are several thousand dollars too, so we need to make a few several thousand dollars beforehand. Let's go ahead and see if we can speed up time a little bit. And we'll make sure our trucks know where they're going. Otherwise, they're just going to drive around. I thought there was an auto mode for that, where they would automatically pick things up and drop them off, but it is cool to have all the power ourselves to do whatever we want, and we can easily change these routes uh, whenever. Okay. So we have 37000 We've got a negative, uh, uh, I guess, a, a deficit of about $2,000, but it'll continue to even out as soon as we get more deliveries done and more and more people are uh, shipping and selling to these areas oh yeah as you can see we haven't even met the wood demand or the coal demand in the slightest oh yeah of course another truck driving around like crazy we're finding them all these little stragglers from before fixing our problems humble beginnings i love it all right let's see Oh, that's great. It tells us if a vehicle is not making us profit, so that way we can identify it. So let's see, which vehicle is that? This one here? Well, it seems to be set to a route. 
Right, so everything does start very slowly, like it does in OpenTTD, but I'm assuming we can also take out a loan at this point and expedite our research to take advantage of anything in the initial starting area, which I guess we'll call the region of St. Angelo, as we kind of have ourselves a nice area here of three different materials, coal, wood, very close together, and then iron ore off here to the northeast. Now we'll eventually have to start making processed products, like for example, uh, lumber or furniture, or maybe eventually electronics, so that'll be good. Just like the soundtrack is good too. That's immensely awesome. You know what would be cool? Laboratory, right here. Be awesome if we could actually deliver materials to it. I think there might be a way to do that. I'm kind of recalling from this game. There might be a way uh, in order to maybe supply them with something other than just money in order to have them speed up the research. That'd be kind of cool. All right, money's still going down. We need many more trucks, I think. Well, that's going to take a pretty penny. But luckily, the trucks are doing what they need to. Let's go ahead and copy some routes here. Oh boy, we don't have enough money. As I would suspect, though, after building a large road like that and hiring a few trucks and truck drivers, we'll go ahead and borrow some cash. There we go. We'll buy, borrow about 200000 there so we can start trading more. So let's go ahead and get a few of these trucks ready. There we go. We'll buy three there. And since the uh, coal trucks have to go a little further, we'll buy like four. <laughs> let's try to pause that. Maybe that'll make that easier. There we go. And we'll release all the trucks. Excellent. Now, there might be ways to make routes and do things a little differently, and we'll find that as we go on. But things definitely look great compared to what they were in the uh, pre-alpha. They look somewhat similar, but I think the game's research trees and vehicles are much more complete than they were before. We now have unlocked manufacturing, so we'll go ahead and stop with the research for a minute until we've actually got some more profits coming in from what we're working on now. Let's see here. So we've completed our research, so we can take a look at it if needed. And that unlocks conveyors, connectors, filters, and that'll allow us to transport things around. So, for example, we can have one uh, drop-off point like this, and I think we can ship it to a warehouse across the map. So, in other, for other words, uh, we can have all the tr trucks delivered to one truck stop, and then have conveyor belts bring that to another area to distribute it, I believe. And that's going to be super helpful in order to transport things to where they really, truly need to go. All right, there we go. Coal's being offloaded. Great, we are making money. We are turning a profit now, finally, after buying all those extra trucks. Very cool. Let's uh, give some of our money back. Ah, we have our headquarters. Build headquarters near the settlement of your choice to make uh, selling to local customers more profitable. Ah, well, we could go ahead and get started in Tulsa. Anybody from Tulsa watching? Go ahead and uh, put that in the town. There we go. That'd be a perfect spot for it. Excellent. Raptoria Transport Company in Tulsa. <laughs> we have a big loan to take out. And we can upgrade it as well. If we get a higher value, our building will look much different. That's going to be cool. Right now, it's just kind of your generic, uh, eh, maybe several cubicle office building with a sign out front. And eventually, we'll evolve into a massive massive operation I'm sure and we could probably move that in the future too it doesn't have to be permanently there okay now we're making some good money and now we need to make even more so we'll go ahead and start working on that next road for the iron ore we'll go ahead and connect that here to uh, the city right here by the ocean slash uh, lake here so let's go ahead and get that started we can build a road to go up there so let's see we can either go like up over the mountain or around we should probably go around and unfortunately, I don't think anything here is going to be diagonal, so we got to kind of uh, work our way back and forth with these zigzags, trying to keep things as flat as possible, I think. There we go. And we'll go ahead and stop there, and we'll build ourselves a mine. That's probably going to be worth more than 14000 I certainly love the music in this game. It's fantastic. 52000 for an iron mine. Oh boy. All right, we better take out that money again. Let's see. Well, that's about a ma the maximum in which we can take out right now. We'll just do this to speed things up so we can see everything. 
We'll build our mine here. Nice. Then we should be able to build a smaller truck depot. So we need about 21,000 for that, plus whatever else it takes to uh, buy some more trucks. And we'll also have to connect things together uh, or build a garage, one of the two. So this city will either have to connect and the trucks will have to drive a long way. It seems like it's going to be more cheaper to build just a separate uh, garage in order to get those trucks to spawn. How are things going down here? Have we oversaturated the market yet? Well, it looks like the supply is good here. We're meeting demand. That's good. Excellent, apparently. With some in storage. And coal is also good. So that's great. We're making uh, all sorts of good deliveries there. Our time um, deliveries are good. Our intervals are good. That's nice. Okay, we can now build our station. I think we'll build it right about there. And a garage too, which costs us 24000 We should be able to build that maybe here. And we also need a delivery point too. So let's go back to stations. And it'll need to be delivered right here. So we could build it at the end of the road there, costing us $21,000. we will see if we can do that. We'll have to wait a little while for the appropriate cash to come in. Demand has decreased. Business has difficulties with the supply. New uh, whatever town accepts less iron ore. All right. Regardless, we'll still get that connected. And it's a very close delivery, too, so it should be profitable for us over time. All right, we've taken out our maximum loan. Let's see how things are on the road again. Love the design of the towns. The buildings are fantastic. They uh, look all slightly different, yet also the same. Not too different to where it looks uh, unbelievable. But the buildings definitely represent commercial and residential and medium density residential. And of course, industrial buildings near the uh, intersection there look really good. Would be nice though to see more civilian traffic that we'd have to compete against in order to keep everything going. Ooh, do we have a building upgrading there? Maybe. All sorts of construction based on whether or not we're delivering things to the towns. So they'll be uh, constantly increasing when they get, of course, more jobs coming in. That means more people move in, and that means more houses. And then more houses, of course, means more people buying groceries and going out. And it uh, is a whole cycle that just rotates in a whole big old circle. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and build that uh, building that we needed, the station. Go ahead and build that towards the end here, our freight station. There we go. Right next to that house. Very nice. Not for them, though. And, of course, now we need another uh, 24000 to build that final building. And a few more uh, things for trucks. Let's see here. What can we do with our HQ? Anything else? Oh, we just got to be able to upgrade it. We can take a look at all of our stats, though, by clicking on that. So that's helpful. And what about the laboratory? Available in warehouse. 45 out of 45. Logistics. No buildings in range to connect. I think eventually we'll have to start delivering... Uh, certain goods to the laboratory so it's not that just the laboratories burn money in order to unlock technology eventually we'll have to deliver things to them like steel beams and whatnot so it's like for example if you played dyson sphere uh, program recently then you kind of know how those work or like creating green and red science that type of thing in factorio kind of it's kind of the same thing but much different in this game and of course we'll transport things mostly by via vehicle rather than conveyor belt so that's kind of cool all right, well, we should almost have enough for the garage. We're at uh, 24,000 is what we need to lay that out flat. So we're pretty close. Okay. It might be a good idea in the future games to start with iron ore. Demand seems to go down quickly, and it's much more profitable. And there we go, all the trucks are coming in. Good. All right, now we're ready to build our garage. So we can plop that down over here. And we can connect it via road. Or or maybe not. Oh, I see. We can't put it here because it modifies the road in which is connected to the uh, uh, to the new branch southeast. So is there a way that we can move this? Hmm. 
Do we get no refund? Oh, we only get a refund of 7,000? Oh my goodness. That's not great. All right, well, we'll go ahead and change this around a little bit. We'll know that for next time, not to build the... Uh, because the road can't be modified for the station and also the garage. But we could put something nearby. We could put it here instead for 22000 Giving the trucks a little area to go load in. Or we could build it separately like this. Oh, this might work. Let's try this. Ooh, this will actually turn out nice. Oh, that might look cool. If we can get it to uh, swing around like this, it just goes a little too far. Oh, but that would look so cool. Oh, I'd love that. Let's see if we can actually make it swing around. There we go. Oh, 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 it did it. There we go. Perfect. And then does the road connect? Oh, it's being real picky, isn't it? Oh. Ah, that... It should totally work, but it, it doesn't want to cooperate with us. But you got our idea. Oh, man. Okay, well, that's all right. There we go. Back that way. Yeah. In my opinion, that should work. But that's okay. It wasn't meant to be. And that's all right. Okay, let's go ahead and try to do our iron ore now. So now, this time, let's go ahead and set it to... Now, again, we can set it to iron ore. Ah, that's us designing or dedicating what the truck bed is to, not necessarily the route. I was thinking maybe perhaps that they could find that out themselves, but I guess not. We're still back in those uh, open TTD days, I suppose, which is fine. We have complete control over our route, and that's kind of nice. There we go. That way we know we've set up everything and we can uh, ch make changes appropriately. And how much is this truck? Oh, you can't find a way to the destination? Here? Oh, it needs to have a small little road to turn around. Ah, uh, yes. Now we should be able to duplicate this truck. Jeez, this doesn't even feel like learning a new game, it just feels like memorizing an old game and playing it all over again. And that's great. Now, some other games that are similar to this, too, if you've uh, seen, there's Rise of Industry, which is another game more similar to maybe in the art style of Open TTD. And both games go together so well, hand in hand. And I can't even believe how long it's going to take us to see trains, but course with these towns not really demanding too much it would be a waste of our time and money to build a giant train but we got to and of course the sandbox mode would be perfect for that as well to be able to build just giant train stations and see how everything functions rather than worrying about money which it does seem like there are options to do in the options menu to be able to take a look at everything and do it however you desire it's your uh, company and your game you may as well do with it as you please have some fun your own way Let's buy another truck. There we go. And let's see if we can keep this profit coming in. we got to pay all of our interest on our loans. But of course, we're going for speed here. Well, regular supply is essential for the business to maintain growth. Of course, of course. Yes, as we're uh, playing here, we're playing differently than we normally would. Is Of course, we're trying to see everything as quickly as possible. Also to expand, and that's going to cost us several million dollars to buy a uh, license in a new area. We should probably buy one more truck, though. And we should be all right. St. Angelo with wood to prevent businesses from closing. Oh, boy. Let's go buy one more of those. All right. St. Angelo wants wood, I see. So we need to be able to deliver some wood there. So let's go ahead and make it this way. Ah, and Tulsa is now accepting wood planks for research. Ah. So they want to do research here. But we'll need to put down something to process that. So now we can build a factory or buy one if it happens to be a thing on the map. Of course, if you're uh, wanting to do trains in this game too, they do have giant uh, train stations. 
and depots so that way you can make very complex uh, train lines and junctions and uh, bypasses and all sorts of different uh, things to do. Oh wow, Cumberland's gonna go bankrupt. Okay, well we wanna make sure we supply these businesses. Let's slow things down now and give them what they need. Uh, we have our wood um, forest down there. So in order to build this, ooh, we're gonna need a lot of trucks coming here instead. I wonder if we could change our routes. It would be nice to do all trucks at the same time to go switch from uh, Tulsa North to delivering them somewhere else. Let's go ahead and change that route. We can, we can start doing that. We can assign some other trucks over here and then buy a few more to match the route to keep up with demand. There we go. All right, let's see if we can change a couple of the trucks or we could just buy one to go there. Oh, looks like Cumberland wants that iron ore. So everything has to be connected and interconnected. Crazy. All right, let's go ahead and buy. And let's do a... Hmm. Let's see. Well, I guess we could do the logs. That's what they'd like to be desired and delivered. We need to buy that for 30000 So we need a little bit more cash. Come on, baby. Give me that money. Looks like we're actually being profitable, too. For the time being, anyway. All right, let's set up the route. So we'll stop at the... Uh, I wonder if we can also paint the trucks. That would be helpful to figure out... Uh, where exactly they're, what line they're assigned to. I'm looking for ideas or, or ways to compare this to Transport Fever 2, where you can set up the lines and, and paint things and kind of keep track of them based on their color of the truck. So that way you can say greens go here, blues go there, that type of thing. Let's go ahead and apply our changes and add a stop. We want to stop here and pick up. And we're stopping at the station, not the specific buildings. So some buildings can be put together as well, so we can have multiple loading and unloading stations, which is pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and accept that. And we'll start by delivering with one. Well, all we've seen so far is the trucks. I'd love to see boats, too. It'd be really cool to be able to make, like, a maybe, like, for example, a canal. And, you know, if there was, like, a large uh, steel mill here and there was a coal mine down here, we could just easily deliver it via ship instead of having trains or trucks do it and just wait until it's full to deliver. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool stuff. All right, let's speed up time a little bit. All right, so now we just got to keep making that profit, keep making that money, and keep hiring more trucks to keep some of these businesses from going bankrupt and work on our investments. Deliveries are going on down there nicely. We'll keep expanding on those. All right, our truck's going to have to come and pick up those logs now, but that's exactly what we want him to do. So we want him to go back to Cumberland Transfer. Now, again, we can rename everything. We can rename the towns. This needs to be a multiplayer game, though. We need so many more multiplayer games. There we go, and there goes all the logs. That's great. Oh, there, there's a lot of trucks coming through with lumber. Or at least to deliver logs. I need to find out which truck is going where here. What a wonderful soundtrack, too, for this game. Uh, again, if you're on the uh, page I am about loving games like uh, Parkitect as well, that type of art style, this is definitely a match to that. It's just perfect, and I love it. So we need 30,007... Oh, we just need a delivery two or more. There we go. What a wonderful little art style, though. I just love these types of art styles in these games. It's a perfect fit for me, and I just love it. Okay. So now we're going to have all those logs delivered there and keep that business afloat. That hopefully will make us more money. Let's take a look at our alerts. Oh, these are just about other businesses and demands increasing or decreasing or things done in the past. Very nice. Good to keep on top of that if needed. 
All right, so how are we doing here? Awful delivery. All right, we need to start picking it up. Now that we've taken on this new contract, we'll make sure we work to get it right. I love the blue color as well for our businesses. And these logging trucks look wonderful too. I'm sure we'll be able to in the future build semi-trucks. I'm sure there's going to be all sorts of different vehicles that we can build. I also like how the trucks don't necessarily follow the road like a track. They kind of go across the line or whatever. Uh, that might be best for them. We have a vehicle here. Cumberland West. Cumberland Transfer. Oh, this might be why. Cumberland West. Cumberland Transfer. Must be a coal truck, correct? No, it's a wood truck. That's why. Well, there we go. We got one wrong. We need to make an adjustment. So instead of it going to the coal refinery, coal refinery, <laughs> it needs to go instead of to the coal uh, mine, it needs to go to the Cumberland. Uh, let's see. The Cumberland transfer. There we go. So load from the transfer and then deliver to the southwest section. Which is over there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Well, let's make sure that's the same case for these ones, too. So Cumberland transfers are where they should be coming from. Yep. And going to there. Perfect. All right. We'll keep monitoring the situation and make adjustments as needed. Now, another way to make things go smoother is to directly connect things through. Like, for example, the connection at Tulsa South. If we went through and had a road there going uh, straight in. I think these trucks could be able to go in a circle. Now, I don't know if there's road connections for uh, one-ways or highways or whatnot, so that's going to have to be something to be seen based on our experience here in the game so far. It's, it seems like there's definitely a lot of ways to do different types of transportation, which is great. Looks like roads here include... Oh, rails. So we can, for example, put down bigger freight stations and train uh, passenger stations and bridges, too. And if we research roads too, that unlocks bigger freight stations and also a bridge. So that seems like a really good and important thing to do to make sure we get cargo off the station. How are we doing here now? Still awful. We'll work to correct that. We'll have to increase the number of vehicles going from the uh, transfer over here to the hardware facility on this side. We'll go ahead and buy a few more of those. Oh, looks like there's a big deal. Industrial building is received for a supply. All right. And we've corrected that. Good. All right. Things are going where hopefully they need to. Great. Wow. There is, there is so much to do in this game. It takes a while. I would say this is an unusual setup where coal is going much further than it needs to. Of course, but that's just kind of the, the luck of the draw for some of these rolls. Ah, yes, and there we go. More of these need to just be adjusted. That's great to have that kind of control over this. So we just need them from going from west to... Uh, from the west station to the transfer like we had before. So an easy change. We just change them to load. And this helps us to identify that. That's great. So if we make any sort of mishaps, we can fix it that way. And it's wonderful. So again, Cumberland West should be the Cumberland transfer. Hey, that's great. And now this is going. This is just scratching the surface of just trucks. Keep in mind, we have still trains to look at, and that is just going to be a hectic mess. Even if you do everything uh, organized, it's going to really look cool when everything's all set up and running on timetables, and it's going to be great. All right, and that should be going to the transfer as well. Perfect. That's great. Demand increased. Thanks to regular supplies, the business grew. Fantastic. And we have more deliveries being dropped off here in storage five. And then the demand should increase. Prevent business from closing. We have 94 days left, or we can give them the money that they need in order to stay in business. Good. Very good. And it looks like they're getting their demands met slowly, but surely. That's one of many truckloads coming to you guys. Oh, look at how the little football field there was lit up. That looks great. There's like a little light in the football field. How go gorgeous. I love that. 
Go ahead. So supply Angelia with wood. Okay. Go work it on that. And they still need wood to be delivered. We're working on it. We need a few more deliveries of trucks. There we go. We'll get a couple more trucks bringing up wood to you guys now. All right, in storage is 12 out of 95 with 8 out of 75 being met. And we should be able to improve that immensely now. We just need to make that delivery more consistent. Good. We just don't want the storage to zero out too much. So there's a little bit of a lull between storage and uh, local demand. So it just needs to be a little, little bit delayed. A little bit delayed. Wow. All right. I cannot wait to come back and try trains. I've done another episode on this earlier for the pre-alpha, and I believe I did some stuff with trains, but this would be a fantastic game for some very long uh, gameplay and some very long live streams, too. So, again, make sure you join me by turning on that uh, notification bell and subscribing, too. This is just kind of an FYI. Hey, this game is now out of uh, pre-alpha and now into early access, and that is great. I've got a lot to learn. I've got a lot to do. I've got a lot to unlock and a lot to research and a lot of improvements to be made, and I cannot wait to do so. Thanks again for your kindness, positivity, and support down below in the comments section. And, of course, spam that Glory to Raptoria down below. I'm going to be looking for it, so make sure you spam that Glory to Raptoria right now down below in that comment section and get all those positive comments to the top by checking them out and smashing like on everyone else's comments who's cheering on the whole channel as we rocket towards 1 million subs. You guys have been amazing. Can't wait to see you for more of this game sometime soon. And I can't wait for more Voxel Tycoon. I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic afternoon, good evening, and a good night. We'll see you very soon for more. Keep in mind, there's tons of this game. Unlocking other regions and more resources and more manufacturing. We haven't even gotten started yet. And I can't wait to get even further into this game. I'm excited, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>